So I just wanted you to view and have a clear view of how the table should look like. So I'll just add a few CSS over here. So I want to target anything with the element table. And what I want to do is, um, no, before I start typing any CSS, of course, I have to type in style. So this tells HTML that whatever I'm going to do here is actually CSS. So it even gives me the options of the properties and the values that CSS come with. So when I say table, any tag or any element with the name table will be styled as such. So also I want to target, I want to target uh, the table data. I also want to target the table row. That is enough. And then I think that is that should be enough. Yes. So uh, table. Oh come on. Yes, so what I want to do is I want to give it a border first of all. A border one pixel, not big enough. It should be solid, solid gray. Exactly. And then when I save, you can see what is happening. It has been given a border. Then you can see now it has two rows as you specify down there. Uh, another thing is give I want to give it a padding. So padding. 0.6 rem and let's see how large that is wow that is looking not good i don't like how these borders are so let me just get rid of those we see um we actually see border collapse i think yeah border collapse and then we collapse it save it let's see exactly those borders have vanished so i think this is okay for now so i can now move on you can how you can now see and visualize how the table looks like so let's get back to our table section so right here we are creating a table so as of now we have two rows and they would like to give more rows and more columns so this row had a data one in it this row also has data two in it a table looks usually more like with rows and columns okay so with rows and columns with rows and columns but for now we are having one row and one column so let's keep on creating and then let's see how it will look like so now we have one row we have data one in the row we have another row with data two and eight so in this row we can have another data in this row which will create a very longer row so i can then see i can copy this which is the table data and I can paste it right here and I'll see data one. All right, it's also part of data one. So when I save it, you can then see it has given me two data in the in the first row. So in my first row right here, I have two data, which is data one in the first row. And I can do same for data two. Just hold shift and alt and down and save it. And now I have another data in the second row right here. So we have data one, we have data two. So data one, data two, two rows, two data. So now what we have is we have two columns and we have two rows. So I would like to expand the data table and make it longer and add more data to it. And let's see how it goes. So what I'll do is I'll just have to copy this, copy and paste, right? All right, let me just paste. This should go to three. This should go to three. All right, this rather this should not go to three. This should go to four. And save it. All right, so now we have four rows, two columns, right? Because as you can see, we have two columns in each row two columns in each row two columns in each row that is what has been displayed on your screen right here all right so on a usual table what we actually see is it has a, a header giving us an explanation of what the column contains right but in our case we do not have a header so i would like to give a header for for each two the, the two columns that we have here so what i would like to do is think of it how how can we create a header on top of this right in a table format 
to specify a header for this whole row another header for this row whole. now what we can do is we can get a row okay we can get a row and then specify one element here one element here and then that will be the header okay that is how that is what i'm actually come to do here but just that i'll use a different element for the table header because it has been provided by html in order for us to know that yes this is a table header so what i do is i'll create a table row to begin with and in the table row i want to get a table header instead of table data in this in this this instance so for the first one i would like to i want it to be called header one and then the second one let me just copy this and for the second one i'll just see header two right and then save it so now as you can see html that the browser has given it some format some bold format it has given it some bold format just to show that it's a header but you can't see the division right here that is because back in our css that i wrote on top here i didn't specify a border for th so when i do this and i say th so th will also come and inherit all these properties from the css first we're given just table td table row and table head and now i've added table head that is why it has been fixed properly just like that and so i would like to continue so now we have a header which tells us what is inside this data we have another header which tells us what is what is inside this data and so i would like to introduce something known as um the, the semantic tags for table just as we have semantic tags for every other thing on the element on the on the web page okay so the first one is i want you to know about caption so caption just like what caption is sounds like in english it does the same thing right here so you can add a caption in your table row it just has the name caption and then we can put in anything here that will, will tell what about this table is for okay so we can see a list of data so when we save it you can see the caption was been given a formatting it has been centered to the middle and it tells us that this is a list of data so the other semantic tag i would like to talk about is the table head there's something called t head t t m t head t body t foot and they do exactly what they mean table head to specify that this is our table head so these things we see are headers okay so before they come you can wrap them in a t head tag so we'll just highlight all of these and cut it and paste it right here and so when we do that we can see that uh, though we'll not see any change but it's good practice to add semantic tags so that for any reading detector who is reading to your your site can know where and what everything means so this is your t head so your t head semantic tag specifies that these are your headers and then for the body you can then come and see t body so we'll wrap all of these inside t body so all of this goes into t body you can cut and paste it right here and save no changes will be done 